So here's, say, uh, cc's a lot. Occasionally, there'll be like cubic inches. It's a measure of displacement. So it's amount of oil that gets moved in one full rotation of the rotating group or one full rotation of the shaft. So in this case here, you would have these pistons in here and they would, in one full rotation, they would go up and then come back down. And the amount of oil they move, in theory, because there's leakage and all that, but if it was 100% efficient, that is one, that is the displacement of the pump. And it goes for all the pumps. They all are measured that way. So in this case here, it would be the volume of this thing spinning all the way around. So you see how the veins sort of, the space in between the uh, camering and the rotor. I don't want to turn it too much because they'll, they'll ruin it. But the, the, this volume of space in here, now in this case though, it's on both sides. That's what makes these vein pumps symmetrical. So the amount, if you were to spin this around, the amount of oil that gets moved on the inlet and then on the outlet here of both sides. That's the displacement in uh, cc's, cubic centimeters. It's just like a, uh, like a Harley or a motorbike. You know, you have the Ducati uh, 999, which is 999 cc's. It's the size of the engine. So here would be the same thing. The displacement would be in this volume of space. There's both a, an, a suction and then a pressure. And the sum of all of that oil that gets moved in one rotation of this, an entire rotation, it's a little jammed up in there, one whole rotation, that would be the displacement. But on these ones, for instance, a lot of pumps are still measured in uh, gallons or cubic inch. This is a P14. So it's 14 cubic inches. Now when they have motors though, they're typically also measured in displacement. But with the Denison vane ones, the 45 is like a torque measurement. 